Welcome back ladies and gents uh, to component 2 learning aim C. Um, we're looking at the mock obviously and I'm hoping that by the time you get to this video and this section um, that you've actually basically done learning aim A and B which is basically making your dashboard uh, on spreadsheet or Excel um, and now you're basically ready to conclude uh, your findings. So before we start looking at the actual work, let's try and understand, as always, the assignment brief itself. Uh, as a reminder, hopefully by this point it shouldn't be a surprise, um, this is a mock and the real thing, the uh, authorised assessment brief will be very similar to this, uh, with of course a different context and scenario. Um, you will obviously put your date uh, issued there, and when you finish, you put the hand in date there. So let's let, uh, go for the uh, the information in the vocational scenario or context section here. Many organizations collect data to help them improve their products or services. In the last assignment, the dashboard, you imported a large data set into spreadsheet software and applied data manipulation methods to manip manipulate data in order to provide appropriate summaries of the data. You also produced the dashboard to display the summaries of the data using appropriate presentation features and presentation methods. In this task, you will be using your dashboard to draw conclusions and make recommendations. So, so that's really important. You need to draw conclusions and then say what the person should do as a result. And that's all down to the analysis of the data that you're going to be making. So there's only one task. So let's have a look here. And yeah, so here we go. In this task, you will assess the effectiveness of your dashboard's presentation uh, of data. You're going to draw conclusions and then review the data presentation methods used. You're going to use a dashboard uh, to identify trends, patterns and possible errors in the data. You're going to draw conclusions on the patterns and trends on the da uh, da uh, in the data and then make a wide range of recommendations based on the analysis. Then you're going to produce a document, which is this document here, using screenshots from your dashboard. This should include a wide range of the relevant examples to support your conclusions. So whatever you say here, you need to say, here's a screenshot of a, a chart or a line chart, or a, line, uh, a bar chart or a pie chart or uh, a cluster chart, wherever it might be, a table. Uh, and you, you you use those as a means to you know to back up what your your, your statements are. Then you make appropriate uh, appropriate recommendations. And lastly, you're going to assess how the presentation features of the dashboard influences its its effectiveness. Now, many uh, of you may fall short, fall short here, uh, but we will have, like I said, the separate uh, videos for each of these sections. So there's actually three sections for this task. So this will be all uh, on this document here. Um, as always, you have the table here which outlines what you need for each grade, That this here being the highest grade that you can get. So to get uh, that top end mark, you need to assess the effectiveness of the dashboard's presentation of data and how it affects the conclusions drawn and the recommendations made using justified examples. And of course, you need to learn through these here, so read through these here as well. And it is, um, some you, you get the Grades above it by working on the grades below it. You can't just go straight to the top. It's a progressive thing. So you're going to use a dashboard to identify trends, then describe the methods used, then use the dash dashboard to outline some of the trends, explain the methods used, and so on and so forth. Okay, so the rest you don't really need to know. Um, so we're going to stop here. But before I do, I just want to show you as an example because I truly believe that it's easy when you see one an, exam uh, an example of one so you can understand how it looks. Here is a, an example learner work. This person got a merit, which is a very high grade. And uh, it's going to skim through. You don't need to read this. All you need to understand right now is that there is um, an introduction, which is going to be the first uh, video that we're going to look at, section one, in a moment. And then they go straight to identifying patterns. So they mention what, they look, talking, uh, what they're about to talk about here with a subtitle. They then talk about it. Then they show a screenshot to explain what they mean. Elaborate, screenshot, elaborate, screenshot. And they keep going down the same formula all the way through. And the main thing, and this is where you really prove to the examiner or the moderator and your teacher even, that you understand what you were doing. It can't be generic points. You have to get specific things. You have to prove that you are almost the expert. And I think the best way to really, you know, 
understand or, or, or to address or approach this project really, especially this part of this project, is to pretend that you have been hired as the expert to, to help this company do better. And you're gonna go back to them and say, look, here are your strengths, here's what I've seen as your weaknesses. This is what you need to do here. This is the reason why. Here's what you need to do here. Here's the reason why. Here's why I think you should do this. Here's why I think you should do that. And that's what you're basically trying to do. All the way through, highlighting these trends and patterns. Now I wanna go through each of these uh, um, methods in a moment, but I just wanna show you how varied these screenshots are. Now, there isn't really much writing involved when you think about it. this person got a merit, but it's not about the uh, the quantity, it's more the quality. What you say has to make sense and what you say has to be linked to each chart, graph, and table that you've uh, made. And you have to go back as the the experts. You are going back and saying, look, this is what you don't your strengths are, here are your weaknesses, here's what you should do. Okay, so you break it down, you basically highlight every single area that you can see of the company that you're working for. Okay, so as you can see, uh, that goes all the way down and there's a conclusion. But as I said, this person got a merit, so I'm going to tell you what you need for the top end marks, the, the, the distinction. So we're going to end the video here for now and we'll look at section one, the introduction in the next video.